Hi Aquarius, welcome to your love reading for the month of March. I went ahead and pulled your base reading over here as you can see so I could just meditate a little bit on it. And then I'm going to take my other cards and clarify so we could do a deep dive. Now I'm going to tell you right now I only see two camps of Aquarians here that I could possibly read for. This, this storyline that I've got here is for the Aquarians that are in a, a long-term relationship and to the other Aquarians that your single's a dollar bill. So let's go ahead and begin. These are the overall influencing cards, which was the Two of Swords and the Queen of Cups. Now the Queen of Cups is a Cancer Pisces Scorpio lady who is in your, let me see something, in your lives. And the Two of Swords tells me you don't know exactly what to do with her. You're just confused by the scenario. A lot of you, what I was feeling is those that are in a, a serious relationship, even those of you that are single, there's somebody that's sort of meddling into your affairs or your relationship. There's somebody that is um, significantly uh, impairing the relationship that you're in. And I say that because the month starts off with the Ten of Cups. This is you just being ultimately happy in, at home or within the home in the family life. The Ten of Cups. But then the following card is the Eight of Swords. And this is where I'm hearing interference and seeing interference. This is you feeling stuck. Or what I specifically heard was being backed into a corner. Someone was backing you into a corner. Or you feel like you're backed in a corner like there's no way out. And it could be because of this long-term relationship. I have now the Prince of Cups. Which probably uh, denotes to me somebody is offering an apology. I more or less am I'm hearing and I'm getting an apology. In the middle of the month, I've got the sun. Needing to spend some time apart from your mate or your person. If you're single, because the next three cards just tell me for you Aquarians that are single, um, there's somebody definitely on the horizon. Because I have justice next to it and then the world. And these are all three major arcana, and all three are telling me you're entering a new phase in your life and somebody's coming along. Now, for somebody in the relationship sector, you could be feeling somebody's needy or it, it's just been clingy and you both just need some space. The Justice card tells me, I don't know if you're with a Libra or you're dealing with a Libra or you're thinking about getting a divorce or seeking legal counsel. Or you're just wanting to break up with the person because sometimes justice tells us that uh, things are not going as you would like. That for single people is the complete opposite. That's a great omen. Somebody's definitely coming in. They could be a lawyer. They could work for the legal system. They could be a Libra. Something like that. Where you're either or if you're breaking up with somebody or you're single, you're going to start a new phase in your life. Some of you will meet somebody on your travels. And some of you I heard that are um, traveling away from your significant other, like you need a break. So you're like forcing like a vacation kind of thing. Strength is in reverse. This I'm hearing lack of patience, lack of, uh, lack of fortitude, lack of strength. Um, you could somebody is testing the boundaries of the relationship and it's gone too far the the boundaries and the bands of the relationship are have expanded so much they're about to snap i just saw an elastic band and it just like it's about to snap like this for the single folk just patience take your time when you're putting yourself out in the dating scene don't be overly like blah, 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 that you seem so intense to the other person that they're like <gasps> But they don't realize that's just your energy that you get excited because you, there's so much that you want to share because you you just are this gifted you know person that knows a little bit about everything and you just want to talk and talk and that's the most fascinating thing about Aquarius. But just be careful like when you're not laying it on too thick is also what I heard. The Queen of Wands. So this is a couple different scenarios. Some of you are dealing, if you're a male Aquarius, you could be dealing with somebody in your life that is a female... Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, uh, I'm sorry, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. And this is only for the men Aquarians. Or you have a water sign female, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. 
and now you have to decide between the two chicks and you don't know which ones to pick you have no you don't know for the female Aquarians this is you going out with your friend that has light hair or red hair like me <laughs> but a, a fair feathered friend or uh, birds of a feather flock together, I heard. So somebody that like gets you, knows you, taking you out, just so you can like clear your mind for the female Aquarians. Um, this is also for you single Aquarian females, your wingman kind of thing, I heard. But you're, you're having a tough time. So this choice, this two of swords, is not knowing what choice to go into. That's you, whether you should break up or and be single or keep the relationship and move forward. If you're a male, you're dealing between two people and two relationships, two situations. If you're a single Aquarian, that, that's just you telling, you overanalyzing thing and deciding what's the best track or the best MO for dating. It's like, oh my God, Aquarius, you don't have to think that hard. You know, there's no MO, there's no like plot. Just go out and enjoy yourself. And then the Princess of Swords, which is who I assume you are, Aquarian ladies, because here you are, the Princess of Swords, Aquarius. I mean, you could be dealing with another female Aquarian or Libra or Gemini, and you do tend to gather with your flock. But I think this is your energy. And I say this, here's the Princess. The Princess knows eventually... She's going to have a kingdom to rule because she'll be queen of some somewhere some someday. And she'll be the queen of her own castle. But not today. Today, she's just a princess. So she's going to enjoy that and have fun. And that's who you are. So you're the single. Even if you're in a relationship, it means you're just not married. Or you're thinking about becoming... Or if you are, you're thinking about becoming single. Or this is just you, the single person. Lady. All right. Ten of Cups, Universe, Angel, Spirit, Guides. Why is the Ten of Cups here for my Aquarians? Thank you. Mm -hmm. All is well. That ends well. Page of Wands clarifying the Ten of Cups. Yeah, everything seems A-OK. -okay. But, you know, this is you trying to keep a positive attitude. This is you trying to keep the rose-colored glasses on. This is you just saying to yourself, like, life is short. I need to go and have fun. You know, this is literally you wanting to go out and have fun. So if something has made you feel stuck or backed in the corner, that's just too much for you to deal with. So it's, you're going to try to figure out how to get yourself out of that. Why is the Eight of Swords here for my Aquarians? Eight of Swords, please clarify the Eight of Swords. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, you're dealing with, or, you know, okay. So some those of you that are in a relationship, female, the female Aquarians that are thinking about getting out of a relationship, you're dealing with a male that's a... Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, but it doesn't have to be. I'm, I'm, I'm buzzing that they're trying to lock you down. I'm hearing back you in a corner. They're also not grounded. Like they don't have their shit together. And I, I mean like financially or their job or whatever, whatever the situation is, they're not they're bringing this level of unhealthiness into your relationships and it's accumulated a certain amount of responsibilities for you that you you no longer are feeling that you need to be burdened by this or something about this is dragging you down i'm just getting this crazy energy of being dragged down like really down what the hell happened to the sun <laughs> okay princess of cups why is the princess of cups here Prince of Cups, the apology I was saying earlier or something like that. I'm also getting maybe you need to work with a third party situation. I don't know if some of you want counseling or need counseling or there was a third person involved. It involves you working with a third person, guys. What, what the? Jesus Christ, this light. Okay, let me just give me a second to fix this up. Right. Yes, so the Prince of Cups is you getting an apology, and it might be coming f via third person. So you guys might be talking through a third person or th through a friend, something in regards to that. 
or if you're that single person and you're interested in somebody Aquarius, you're kind of like putting feelers out there, I'm getting the notion, and that you're asking your friends to get the 411 for you. The sun. Why is the sun here? And maybe that's what you're doing for the single folk. And, you know, once you start doing that, it looks like you guys are... Um, gonna meet somebody because in the middle of the month I do see you meeting somebody you single Aquarians let me see oh yeah you're definitely meeting somebody out through traveling and drinking and at a bar at night somewhere or something like that and um, this person is going to restore some balance for you now I do have an interesting story for those of you that are breaking up with somebody and you were debating whether or not to keep them in your lives. Yes, okay. All right, let's begin. I had the sun with the six of pentacles in reverse. This was when, if you're the single person, we already discussed this. This is somebody coming along in your life. And then the, the lack of balance that you were feeling will eventually uh, change for you. you. It will restore balance into your life. This is the clarifier of what is really happening. Now, let's go back to the story of somebody that needs the space in their relationship because somebody was too clingy or somebody was like holding on to you too tightly. And I really do feel like it was because of finances. They were financially um, sucking you dry or bringing you down. And there's a lack of balance within your relationship because of that reason alone. Now, justice. You are, th this usually denotes you eventually breaking up with a long-term partner. And I don't know if you're already seeing somebody else or talking to somebody else or thinking about somebody else, but this is you trying to just like go out and enjoy yourself at night and trying to like not think about it. So you are like putting a lot of events on the table, Aquarians, just so you can get through this. But you're also talking to your friends. You know, you're like, oh, I don't know, you know, how I'm feeling about my situation. So you, um, I just like see somebody drinking and just trying to like have fun and enjoy their time and just put this to the wayside, you know, because at the end of the day, justice will come down and balance the scales because you are dealing with another soul and they've got a life to lead too if you were to like break off with them. So this is just saying, you know, take care that you don't overdo this kind of energy and deal with this for those of you that are single you're going to meet them out at a party or an event it's just plain to see um or at a bar you are you are definitely meeting them out when as you are you're socializing now this is um the new phase the new phase for you single folk is because you really truly somebody's coming in and i do think you meet them from going out and socializing and or from traveling because i do have the chariot again it's two cards of travel one is means by car and the other one is like overseas but the fact that it's um reversed tells me that the situation is no longer going to keep you stuck it's coming in or what was stuck before is going to start moving forward um, and it's like, I, I see this, I, I see like the negative energies back and the positive energies moving forward. So it's like as if all the bad negative stuff that wasn't working for you is going to kind of like stay behind and it's something is going to come towards you where you're going to be like, I don't know. You have like this, like this momentary, um, feeling or thought like an epiphany. And then you're like, you know what? What if I did move? What if I did change my job? What if I did start hanging out in a different bar, a different place, or start wearing my clothes differently, or just change my tack altogether? And then when that happens, boom, you just meet somebody. They just come on in. It's going to happen anyway in the middle of March. Um, for those of you that are breaking up with somebody, it was because you were stuck. You were literally stuck in your life, like physically, financially, even mentally, it was a major blockage in your life. And this is why you had the strength reversed. Because the limits of this relationship were tested. And now I guess it's testing you if you're going to move forward or not. You know, and then this just is also patience for the single folk. 
And then the and then you know we have the queen over here and the princess of swords, whom I'm assuming is very much you guys. Now let's go ahead and clarify them. Strength. Why strength here? Yeah, there was a, a certain level of manipulation going on within the relationship. And it just felt like that, coupled with some other stuff that was going on in your relationship and in your life, was all that you could tolerate. Um, very specific, very specific. For those of you that are dealing with a water sign female or a fire sign female you deciding you're going to end up with the aries leo sagittarius and you're going to end up marrying her that was very specific i really hope i i caught the aquarians who were meant to hear that particular message um queen of wands that's your friend that's your buddy if you're a female that is your um deciding significant other if you're in a male queries uh, Aquarius. She's the Leo Sagittarius um, Aries. And here's Justice. You Balancing the scales. Maybe she's a lawyer. Maybe she works in the legal system. Or maybe you're thinking about marrying her. You could also be thinking about divorcing her. Uh, th this is the law. Or some, some form of legality. But it's in the upright position. So I think for men it's different than it is for the female. For the females... Your friend, if she's a lawyer, or if she's not, she introduces you to a lawyer, she introduces you to a Libra, something along those lines. Single uh, Aquarian females. And Princess of Swords. Why is the Princess of Swords here, please? Wow. Two of Cups. Soulmate. At the end of the month, I think what happens to you for your single folk, you're definitely meeting your soulmate. And they're coming at the end of, you know, March going into April. So that is a big fat congratulations. <laughs> um, for those of you who are marrying or getting married to a fire sign person, that person is your soulmate. Those of you who are dealing with a breakup on the table here that I see, they really could be your soulmate, you know, but we get a dozen or so soulmates in our lifetime. And then we have the twin flame, which is very different from soulmate. Please Google twin flame versus soulmate and because that could be a whole other segment all in its own. But I digress. At some point, you're dealing with a soulmate. I don't care if you're the single Aquarius, the male or female Aquarius, or the coupled up Aquarius. At the end of March, you guys are very much dealing with a soulmate. I don't, uh, right now, I almost feel like the universe wants to keep it a secret because this is you. And you are one of these uh, souls. Who the other person is, I don't know. Because for you, Aquarian males, I think it's a choice between two females. Uh, for you females, I think it could be um, you debating on breaking up or not. Because at the end of the day, she does have a sword. Or, you know, for you single Aquarian females, you are meeting your soulmate at the end of the month. So that's how that all breaks down for you guys. All right. Universe Angel Spirit Guides. What do messages do we have for the Aquarius love? Um, 2020. Yes. Okay. So for those of you that are breaking up with somebody, I have unrequited love. There's not enough of attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So I really think whoever's dealing with some earth sign individual, I really think, or it could even be the water sign female for, you know who this is. You guys, you're not attracted to this partner any longer. So you're cutting them out of your life because here you are the prince or the princess of swords chop out Bye. And the other group that, are you, congratulations, you're getting married to a, a fire sign a female. Or if you're single, male or female, you meet somebody at the end of March. They're coming in in the middle of the month, but something ignites at the end of March. This is true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. And of course it is because I have soulmate. True love, soulmate. 
no ifs, ands, or buts about it, guys. So thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please share with anybody you think that um, I need to hear these messages. And if you've got Scorpio in your chart, I suggest you listen to that video. That was crazy. So yeah, you have to listen to your moon and your rising because your natal makeup is not just Aquarius, or at least I don't think it is. But until next month, bye Aquarius.